Gary Barber. I'm the winner, site station manager, 2011, here at Palmer Station. Palmer Station is located on the south side of Anvers Island, which is on the west side of the Antarctic Peninsula. Uh, we're about 64 south and 64 west. Palmer Station is made up of two main buildings. One is the GWR building, which stands for the Garage, Warehouse, and Recreation Building. That acronym's been left over from the Navy. In our GWR building, we have a bar, a lounge where we watch hundreds of different movies, and we have pool tables, ping pong tables, darts, a music system. And yeah, we're here to do science. The other building, the BioLab building, houses birthing, our galley, administrative offices, and on the ground floor, it has all of the science labs. In both buildings, they both have birthing areas, or the bedrooms, and where uh, all of the population has roommates, and they double up in these rooms, and that's where they live for anywhere from a month to six months. Our retreating Mar Piedmont ice shelf is where we do a lot of recreation. Hey, I'm Austin. This is the glacier. This is one huge chunk of ice. While it may look snowy and stable, it is certainly not. Uh, but we also have skis, snowshoes, sleds. We also have towers on the top of it, a BLF tower, and a expander, it's a now, repeater tower that helps us with our communications within our boating limits. So that's where we practice our GSAR activities, our glacier search and rescue. So we do have boundaries. Make sure you don't, or anyone else, doesn't fall into a crevasse uh, by going out of bounds. As the winter station manager position, I'm also responsible for the FEMC coordinator's position, which is the facilities engineering maintenance and construction. An example of an issue that we had here on station was that our RO machine, our reverse, oso <laughs> okay. our reverse osmosis machine, had a malfunctioning part. What we had to do at that time was immediately go to water restrictions and then set our team upon uh, resolving the issue, finding the part, finding out what was wrong with it, replacing the part, and getting it back online, testing it, and making sure that it continued to make water. One of the difficulties of the, of the season is the tight quarters in which there is rarely true privacy for anyone. We work uh, 54 hours a week, and whatever additionally needs to happen, both for the community and for emergency repairs on station. So everybody bands together and everybody works hard. And even if it does mean extra hours, long hours, night hours, uh, whatever hours to make our situation continue and in support of the science department, that's what we do. And on top of that, at night, I'm building cabinets. Uh, the community, even though everybody has a very specific job, each person is multi-talented. Uh, Harry, our carpenter, is a guitar player. Liz, our painter, is a singer-songwriter. Uh, we have trivia contests. We have people that are glacier ice climbing specialists. We have people who are boating specialists that try to teach us things. We have electrical engineers. We have scientists. We have pe people that are into veterinary me medicine who are also our maintenance man. So we have many 
multiple talented people that just about the time you think you've seen it all or heard it all, out comes something else. Right now our tour is uh, concluding, our six months are coming to an end, and this is my big orange taxi. It's a Punta Arenas Chile. I just can't tell you how proud I am of uh, all of you. 